Okay, so let's talk about another really cool node. It's called the Dirt Group node. It's a way that we can add dirt and grime and ambient inclusion to any of our EV objects. So how does this work? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and find a material that we want to use to add the dirt to. So I'm going to take this CW concrete and hold the control key down, add it, and here's our concrete. Looks pretty good. And what we want to do is we want to add some dirt to it. We can add dirt from the top down or the bottom up. How do we do that? Well, let's go to our dirt node. So the dirty nodes come in two different flavors. Uh, we'd mentioned up and down, but there's a dirty down two and a dirty down one. And these have different kinds of dirt and noise associated to them. So I'm going to use this dirty up one right here. So in this case, I'm going to basically add it to this little object here and we can see it has dirt on it. And if we look at this in our shader editor, we'll see it has this dirty up node. And if I zoom in on here, we're going to learn a little bit more about, I can change the amount of the dirt. It maxes it too, but I can type in number four if I want, which really makes it almost opaque. But I'm going to go back to the default at one. I can change the scale of the dirt. And again, it's been optimized for this one at one. And I can change the height, how high I want the dirt to go. So you can see as I roll down, I can go all the way to the bottom and go to the height. And as I go up, you'll see that I can actually go to the very top at 10 and if I add 20 it'll go higher but really you almost add, have to add a thousand to get to the very top. Now the other thing to note about this is that this node can be added to any other material that we've created. So how does that work? So we go into here and we'll check this and we'll check out this concrete material. And right here, right before we get to base color, I can hold the shift and the A key down and basically go down and say group CW dirty up. The other way I can do this is I can say add group CW dirty up. Because once we have that installed in a material in our scene, it's available to all other materials. Once we've done that, we see that, look at this, we've just added dirt. One of the things that we've also done is we notice as we look in here, we're going to see that we've also added a lot of dirt and grime in the in the cracks and the cre creases of this object, right? So the, it creates an ambient occlusion shader also in there so that it's going to add dirt in that area. It gives it a more weathered look. And of course, all the same features we have. We can scale it. We can uh, make it higher or lower. We can turn, change the amount so it's not quite as, as dark if we want. It's a very handy group node to use.